In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2CO4. This is barium chloride. This is sodium chromate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. And all I need to do is put a 2 in front of the sodium chloride. So now this equation is balanced. Next, we write the state for each substance. You know your solubility rules. Chlorides are very soluble. So barium chloride and the sodium chloride, those are going to be soluble, dissociate, split apart into their ions. For the sodium chromate, because we have sodium here, sodium compounds, very soluble. So this will be aqueous as well. But for our barium chromate here, if you look this up on a solubility table, it's only slightly soluble. A little bit of dissolve, but not too much. So we consider this to be a solid when net ionic equations. These two react this falls to the bottom as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. When we look at it, we split all the aqueous compounds apart, but the solid, this barium chromate here, we don't split that apart, so we keep this as a solid. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see here in the reactants, I have two chloride ions. In the products down here, I have two chloride ions as well. Spectator ions, we cross those out. Two sodium ions in the reactants, two sodium ions in the products, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2CrO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium chloride plus sodium chromate. You'll note that the atoms, they're the same on both sides. They're balanced and the charge is balanced as well. Two plus, two minus, net charge of zero. This is neutral, net charge of zero. And remember our barium chromate, that's the precipitate. It's only slightly soluble, so we keep it as a solid here since most of it will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.